Hello everyone. Welcome to your channel Physics with Oliver. At first I will request you to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. And we will start today's problem. You can see that today's problem is from logic gets. Right. So before starting the problem we will discuss some theory parts so that you can understand the solution easily. Okay. So at first we will discuss what is uh, AND gate, what is OR gate, what is NAND or NOR gate. Okay. Okay. Let's see. This is known as AND gate. This is known as OR gate. This is used for multiplication and this is for addition. Okay. Suppose this is A terminal, this is B terminal and this is the output terminal C. This is the two input terminals A and B and this is C. Now we will discuss the truth table of AND gate and or get. This is A, this is B and this is the output C. If A, B both are 0, then the output will be 0. If A is 0 and B is 1, then the output will be 0. If A is 1 and B is 0, then the output will also be 0. And if the out uh, inputs are 1 and 1, only then we will get the output 1. Okay? These outputs are known as low and this is known as high. Then we will get 0 out, zero at output that means that is low. And then we will get 1 that is high. It is from Boolean algebra. Okay. For OR get we will discuss the same truth table. This is A, this is B and this is C. For 0, 0 input we will get output 0. For 0, 1 inputs, we will get 1 as output. For 1, 0 inputs, we will get the output as 1. And for 1, 1 input, we will get the output as 1. Okay. Now we will discuss about NAND gate. If we will give uh, this sign before the AND gate, we will get NAND gate. And if we give this sign before OR get, we will get, wait, I will change the color so that you can understand easily. If we get this sign before AND get, we will get NAND get. If we apply this sign before OR get, we will get NOR get. Okay. For NOR get, for NOR get, the truth the value of the output will change that will be c bar opposite to the and that will be 1 1 1 0 and for nor get the output will be opposite c bar that is 1 0 0 0 okay these are the operations of and get and or get now we will start the problem Okay, now we will start the problem. We have drawn this. Okay, you can see the picture now clearly. Now let's start. This is the terminal A and this is the terminal B. It is given in the question that A is equals to 0 and B equals to 1. So we will write that A equals to 0 and B equals to 1. Okay, so 0 is given as the input on this uh, we will give the number, this is number 1, this is 2, this is 3. This is the first NOR gate, this is the second NOR gate, this is the third NOR gate. And we have only one and NAND gate, right? So if 0 is given at the end A, so the one input of the first NOR gate is 0, right? 
and the one input of the second nor gate is also zero okay and one input of the third nor gate is one and one input of the second nor gate is also one so for this nor gate we can get the output i am again writing the truth table of the nor gate okay this is a b this is the output of or gate and this is the output of nor gate i am again writing the truth table so that you can understand easily 0 0 is given for or gate it will be 0 if 0 1 is given for or gate it will be 1 for 1 0 the or gate will be 1 and for 1 1 the or gate will be 1 so for nor gate this will be 1 0 0 0 okay so from here you can say if the two inputs are 0 and 1 for nor gate then the output will be 0 and 1 for the output will be 0 so this output will be 0 so the input of the first nor gate is here 0 and the input of the third nor gate is also 0 now consider the first nor gate two inputs are 0 0 so the output will be 1 right from here we can write this so i am writing 1 here for the third nor gate two inputs are 0 and 1 0 and 1 so that the output will be 0 so i am writing 0 here so for the only one nand gate we have two inputs are 1 and 0 now i am again writing the truth table of and gate and nand gate that is a b output of and gate and output of nand gate okay For 0, 0, the output of AND gate will be 0. For 0, 1, this will be 0. For 1, 0, this will be 0. For 1, 1, this will be 1. So, for NAND gate, this will be 1, 1, 1. And the last one will be 0. Right? So, from here, we can see if the two inputs are 1 and 0, 1 and 0, the output of the NAND gate will be equals to 1. Right? So, this should be 1. Okay. Now, it is asked in the question, the value of x and the y respectively. You can see this is the x and this is the y. So, from our figure, we can show you that, from our figure, we can show you that this is the x and this is the y. So, the value of the x is 1 and the value of the y is also 1. So, this should be the correct answer. I hope you understand this. If you have any doubts, you can write in the comment section. Thank you everyone. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon.